All right, here we go again. Wendell Lee Well Services back at you for another video today. Uh, sticking with the control box theme, uh, going to go over a little bit more about uh, control boxes. Um, but in particular, uh, what's the difference between a standard control box, that's referred to by the uh, pump manufacturers, and what's called a uh, deluxe control box. So it's not really a whole lot to it. So you can see I've got uh, two control boxes here for the same motor horsepower. Uh, the one on the left is a uh, deluxe control box. The one on the right is a standard control box. All right, so the only difference is, you know, obviously the start and run capacitors are the same, the relay is the same. The only difference is, is there's a contactor in here versus not having a contactor uh, in this standard control box. So what the pump manufacturers are doing here is they're giving you a option um, you know when you start getting over uh, well pump motor horsepowers of uh, 1.5 horsepower and up uh, the amp draw on these is uh, pretty high and so you know this is a standard pressure switch that is uh, a pretty conventional uh, square D pump troll switch. It's uh, most common out there on the market. Um, this switch is only rated for about 10 amps. Um, so, you know, once you once you start getting at 1.5 horse, horsepower and above, you know, your, your amp draw on each uh, leg is above that. And so what a, del what a deluxe control box allows you to do is it gives you a contactor with a coil in it. And lets the contactor take the look, take the majority of the load of your amp draw, and then you can utilize this small pressure switch as just a uh, control circuit. Uh, control circuit meaning you run a small wire to and from the switch. The switch still operates the same way as it would originally, and then when the switch builds up pressure, what it's going to do is there's a coil back here on the back of this contactor that pulls the contactor in. When the switch opens, it breaks a circuit, which um, decreases your voltage, shuts the voltage off going to your coil, opens the contactor. So that's really it in a nutshell. Um, now you're probably asking, okay, well then why do people even uh, run standard control boxes? So there is a solution. Um, Square D does make a heavy duty type pressure switch uh, that can handle um, you know higher higher amp draws than 1.5 horsepower um, they work just as well too you know the only difference uh, wiring wise on the control box is on a standard you just have your let me get this up where you can see it you'll have your three pump wires coming in here then your two uh, power wires they'll be coming out be going to this switch coming from the switch to the breaker okay on the deluxe control box you still have your pump wires coming in but these two wires are going to your breaker now then you've got two wires going then you've got two different wires one that are going to your switch and one of your hot legs these two wires are going to be going back to the switch and that's the wire that's going to be uh, breaking this coil back here on this contactor. So when the coil is pulled in, obviously the contactor is engaged. Uh, when the switch satisfies the circuit and the switch opens, this contactor is going to release. Um, so, hope I haven't confused you out there. Um, tried to did, tried to do the best I can explaining it. it I've been around it a lot, so it kind of comes second knowledge. But um, that is the difference. Uh, both ways work. Uh, it's just knowing, you know which one's going to be better for you in some uh, certain situations. Uh, you know, we, we like running the uh, d deluxe control box. It's, it's a whole lot easier. You know, you go one place to service it and then still have a little small standard uh, pressure switch to work with. Um, but both ways work. Um, we've, we've done both ways too. I'm not going to uh, say there's really a wrong way or a right way here because both of them work. Both of them work just as well. So it's just kind of, um, you know, which which way you want to go, which way is ultimately going to work uh, best for you, the customer. So 
Uh, hope that hope that clarifies the differences between standard and a, a control box and a deluxe control box. Um, again, you still have the same components to start the motor. It's just um, having a little bit of a different option, a contactor versus not having a contactor to uh, shut the pump off and turn the pump on. So, thanks for watching. Um, drop us a line if you want any more YouTube videos made or have any questions about anything else. Or go check us out at our website, Uh Stay tuned for more videos coming up. Thanks.